Morning, day two of the Irish Summer National Swimming Championships, organised by Swim Ireland at the National Aquatic Centre. It is another full morning. It will be a fast morning, too. That's because we've got a raft of 50 meter freestyle races for you 12 for women, 17 for men. Then we go into the 100 butterfly. We've got seven women's races in that. 11 for men. 200 IM for women also, six races in that. And in the men's 200 backstroke, nine different races there. We wrap up with women's 1500 meters freestyle action for the final ah, 40 minutes or so of the morning. So we're with you for the next two and a half hours at thereabouts. Lots happening here as usual. And it should be a very busy morning. In fact, there's no should about it. It will be a very busy morning. So good morning from Will Downing. A lot of the great and the good of Irish swimming are competing in this and it is heat action all the way. This morning, the first of three sessions today. So everybody in position and ready. The officials are, the swimmers will be, and you are too. So the 50 freestyle, 29 races in that this morning, 12 for the women, we've got a total of 113 who are in action in this today. And that's just in the women's, the men it's knocking towards 163, so it will be a very active couple of hours. Sort of a calm morning outside in Dublin, quite pleasant. It's dry, it's warm, of course. Supposed to rain a little bit later. That, that'll be welcome, I think, for a lot of people. And in here, of course, it's the same as ever. Always great to see full stands for an event like this. Quite a lot of uh, the visiting international teams are competing again today. So we've got three in the first heat of 12 of the women's 50 meter freestyle. Dervila Brady of Limavady, Nicole Turner from the NAC based here and Shiva Brady of Lisbon City. So Nicole Turner in the middle lane, the Paralympic silver medalist in the 50 butterfly, in the S6 and bronze in that in the Worlds in Madeira a few weeks ago. So it's Brady in three, Turner in four, and Brady in five. Dervila Brady in three, Shiva Brady in five, Nicole Turner in between them, the Paralympic Games medalist. One of the best around, and she's showing why too. Turner's got off to a tremendous start. And away she goes, absolutely gliding. Nicole Turner is going to take this. This could be a very good time for her as well, 36.16. That's her fastest time. Dervila Brady in second and Shiva Brady in third. Yeah. 
The lineup of 10 for Heat 2 of 12. Sarada Nagy of New Ross, McLean of Trojan, Greenslade of Limerick, Marley of Temple Logue, Hartnett of Leash Marlins, McKeown of Trident, McKenna of Asgard, Van Wynen of Streamline, Smith of Bangor, and Bowden of Leander. Fastest in this, Louise Hartnett of Leash Marlins, who's gone out to 30.28. Alan McKeown, 30.33 for Trident. Away first time. A good start from them all. And Louise Hartnett in four from Louis Leash Marlins, as you'd expect, has got off really well. And also in three, Ruby Marley from Temple Oak. Hartnett looking quite strong. Just marginally out in front, not by a lot. Also going brilliantly in lane seven. Anna van Wijnen of Streamline. And in lane zero on the near side, Laura Saradai. Nazi of New Ross. This is, will be very tight. Hartnett going for it. And it's taken by Bowden of Leander. 29.61 out of lane nine. Saradai Nagy in lane zero finished in third spot. That was swift. That was very well spread out. Heat three, it's Campbell of Trojan, Gunning of Bluefin, Walsh of Temple Oak, Alessia Mancini of Italy, Doherty of Carrick Finns, Kelly of Shark, Swinburne of Dolphin, Eleanor Driscoll of ESB, Kira Dowling of Trojan and Shona Ferris of Blackrock. A really good victory for Dulce Bowden of Leander a few moments ago. They're away, first time in this third heat. Solid from Clara Doherty in four for Carrick Finn. She started well and Katie Kelly as well in five. In lane seven, Eleanor Juskell going very well for ESB at the moment. Looks to be a slight advantage for Clara Doherty over Eleanor Juskell and Dowling and uh, Ruby Swinburne's made her way back into this well also and in lane zero Ellie Campbell Clara Doherty in four can she get to the wall first she can 28.96 Swinburne in second Eleanor Juskell of ESB in third victory for Clara Doherty decent time that to 28.96 Heat four of the women's 50 freestyle. It's McArdle in zero, Murray in one, Marshall in two, McDade in three, Pronti four, Bailey five, Katie Mann six, McClellan seven, Corkery eight, and Senya Nita of Nina Neptune in lane nine. Pronti with a build up time of 29.62, Eva Bailey 29.63. They're all away. Decent start by uh, Katie Prunty in four of Slaney Sharks and also in five from Eva Bailey of Ballymena. Nobody really probably to the four yet. Bailey's not looking too bad in five and alongside her, Katie Mann in six who performed so well yesterday in the opening day. Bailey in five, Mann in six. They're the prime two at the moment in this heat four. Bailey edging out in front. It's going to be Bailey, 29.03. Mann in second place. And Prunty in third, 29.47. Eva Bailey takes that one. 29.03. Heat five of the 12. It's Leisha DC of Sunday's Well in lane zero. Lucy Sobodova of the Czech Republic in one. Tarankanova of the NAC in two. Proud Love four. Kenny five. Began six. Joyce seven. Kate Lee in eight. Kayla Flanagan in lane nine. Three is empty. Wait the first time of asking. Decent start by Proud Love in four. How distracted it'll be with an empty lane alongside her. Hard to tell. You ask swimmers sometimes and some do seem to get affected by it, some don't, but Proud Love definitely is not at the moment. Edged ahead of Bridget Kenny. Also going well in eight is Kate Lee. 
but it's Proud Love in four and Kenny in five. And now coming up well in zero is Leisha DC, but in the middle is Proud Love and Kenny, and that's taken by Proud Love, 29.35, Began in second, and Kenny in third place, and 29.35, the winning time. On to heat six, Antonina Sech of Sunday's World. She's in lane zero. Megan Diamond of Ayrds in one. Reka Fabian of Shark in two. Lund of the NAC in three. Neve Walsh of Glen Alban in four. Kenny of Erlingus five. Marriott six. Maguire seven. Heather Fane of Dolphin in eight. And Izzy Lannan of Enniskillen Lakelanders in lane nine. And away they all go. Good start, I thought, actually, by Fabian in two and Lund in three on this occasion. And also in five, Nevea Kenny of Elinga Swim Club comes into this at a 29.19. This is really even. Going well in six, Marjorie in front is Lashling Marriott. And in seven, Lily Maguire. This is really tight. In two, Rekha Fabian as well. Very even, but making a good move in six is Marriott. That's taken by Marriott. 28.54, the fastest we've seen so far. And a good victory for the Swan Leisure 16 year old. 28.54, Marriott wins. Maguire second, Fane third, Lund fourth. Heat seven, Alice Ledgerwood of Trojan in lane zero, Sophie Dorn of Lyon in one, Sarah O'Connell in two, Roisin Lawless in three, Maya Niblock of Lyon in four, Olivia Curry of Shark in five, Sophie Nolan six, Izzy McGrath seven, Abigail Minter of Temple Oak in lane eight, and Holly Clifford of Port Marnock is in lane nine. And away they go, oh, it was a nice start by Sarah O'Connell of Mullingar Jets in lane two and also going well in three right now Roisin Lawless that previous heat was incredibly tight very little between them and that's been very much repeated here by the halfway mark going excellently in seven is Izzy McGrath Dolphin going well in lane seven it's got a good advantage can the rest respond McGrath still leading the way in front and McGrath gets the touch, 28.90, 1800s clear of Abigail Minto in second place, Sophie Nolan in third, but 28.90 as Dolphins' Izzy McGrath gets the win. Took a while for someone to emerge, it was her, and it stayed that way. In heat eight is Cathy O'Sullivan of Splash World Sharks in lane zero, Liana Ledan in one, Lizaveta Kotsakava of the NAC in two, and a Phoenix of Sunday's Well in three, Hannah McMenamin of Erlingus in four, and Anastasia Testiuk of Cormorant in five, Eleonora Marucci of Italy in six, Noreen in seven, Marguerite Buckley in eight, Beth Gardner of the NAC in lane nine. And they're away. We do have a non starter trying to work out. I think it's lane three, it was Anna Feenan who doesn't start of Sunday's Well. Whatever the circumstance of that is. And Hannah McMenamin in four has started off quite impressively here. She's got a notable advantage. And Beth Gardner in nine from the NAC is also going well. And in six, Eleonora Marucci of Italy. This is going to be an interesting one. The rest are quite a bit behind at the moment. And McMenamin in four, Marucci in lane six. And that's taken by McMenamin, 28.14. Marucci in second place. And Beth Gardner in lane nine for the NAC did come through in the end in third spot. McMenamin winning 28.14. Heat nine, it's Avon Ivory of Asgard in lane zero. Zavaya Quigley of Ards in one. Shannon Byrne of Bangor in two. Nave Poutney of Ards in three. Imogen Sargent, Chelsea Westminster in four. Ellie Falls of Lyon in five. Julia Daffy of Brompton in six, Isla Henry seven, a her in eight, McLean nine, and they are all away. Maeve McLean of the city of Derry, but a great start alongside her from Neva Hearn of Kilkenny in lane eight in the, in the Cats headgear, basically. She's got the advantage, and clearly so, and in second place alongside her, Maeve McLean for the time being. A Hearn starting brilliantly in lane one, Zavaya Quigley of Ards going very well too. Does Ahern still have enough to go? I'm not so sure. Quigley's coming up. Quigley wins it. 
28.11, Ahern in second, 28.27, and Poutney, Sargent third, Poutney fourth. Quigley winning, 28.11. Heat 10 of the 12. Brogan O'Hara of Leander in lane zero. Amy Noble of Asgard in one. Rebecca Lowe of UCD in two. Naomi Trait of Kilkenny in three. Inga Weidemann of Tux in four. Clubmate Karen Herbst in five. Daniel Farrell six. Leah Bailey New Ross seven. Hannah Pierce eight. Nimone Rogers of Trojan in lane nine. And away they all go, and a full field of 10 in this. We did have an absentee in the previous one of Avon uh, Ivory, but that was a very good start in four by Inga Weidemann of Tux, who was really useful, very effective yesterday, the 22-year-old, 25-85. She has going into this, and she might match that today, because no one's going to stop Inga Weidemann. It's a big advantage for her over Karen has. It's Tux one and two, and Weidemann wins it. 25-99, Herbst in second place, straight and third for Kilkenny, and Farrell fourth for Sligo. 25-99, what a leap in quality. What a good win for the South African team. Vitamin with the victory. Heat 11 upcoming. It'll be Molly O'Brick of Asgard in lane zero, Kellyanne Brown of the NAC in one, Ella Donegan of Lyon in two, Sean Shemchi of Sunday as well in three, Erin Reardon of the NAC in four, Caitlin McCaw of Lyon in five, Molly Nolte of Swilly Seals in six, Rosie Witt of Swim Belfast in seven, Kira Williams of the NAC in eight, and Neve Kennedy of Galway in nine. Erin Reardon the fastest, 25.59. We'll see if she can bring that to the pool this morning as well. We've already seen a very impressive performance in the previous heat. And it's Erin Reardon going very well in lane four. And we're seeing her class straight away. Got a good advantage over Caitlin McCaw of Lyon in second spot in lane five. And also Molloy, <laughs> Molly Nulty of Swilly Seals in lane six. That'll be the one, two, three. Rin will take this 26.22, McCaw in second, 26.87, and Nulty in third spot, 27.50. Raiden with the victory there. 26.22. And heat 12 to round off. Philly McCartney of Ards in lane zero. Grace Conroy of Lisburn in one. Rosalie Phelan of Cormor in two, Cora Rooney of Enniskill in three, Danielle Hill in four, Caitlin DeLonge of Tux five, Jana Kutz of Tux six, Michaela Kisilova of the Czech Republic in seven, Nisha Allen of Terran in eight, Livia Miskley, Bambridge nine. They're away. Fastest in the field, Danielle Hill, of course. 25.30 from Lyon, the Irish international star, and looking strong on her way to the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham in a week's time. And she's taken the advantage here. Caitlin DeLonge of Tux in second spot, but Danielle Hill will win it. 25-94, DeLonge in second, 26-19. Ellie McCartney in third, fourth, Jana Kutzen. Twenty-five nine four, a very good advantage for Danielle Hill. Well, the women's competition quite tremendous, very hectic, but <laughs> we're going to see a lot more of that now because we've got the men's. 50 freestyle coming and 17 heats in that.
So there's three to come in this first heat of the 50 freestyle. It's Paul Trichler in three. They're all just getting sorted at the moment. So, these are the three in it, Paul Trichler of New Ross, Dylan Prenderville of Limerick and Ben Kelly of Asgard. This is a, a para-swimming event. with Paul Trichler and uh, Dylan Prenderville. Nice win in the heat earlier for Nicole Turner. There's just a slight technical issue, which is uh, causing the hold up in terms of, looks to be a radar, a timing issue. So we'll pause for a few moments. Madeira obviously hosting Quite a successful World Championships uh, a couple of weeks ago. Just testing the starting equipment again. So we are ready to go in this men's 50 metre freestyle. It's Paul Trichler of New Ross in lane three, Dylan Prendeville of Limerick in four, and Ben Kelly of Asgard in five. Prendeville with a time of 43.98 registered going into this. Kelly 54.11, Trichler 64.33. Prendeville in the middle lane for Limerick, the 18 year old. Could be on the way to a lifetime best here, I think so, to be honest. I think it's going to dip under 44. It's going to be 43, 43. And that is it. That's a new lifetime best for Dylan Prenderville. What about Ben Kelly trying to beat 54, 11? 52.84, and he has done that as well. Paul Trichler of New Ross coming into finish now, looking to beat 104. And he registers a time of 105. So it's close enough, 105.95. Dylan Prendeville gets the victory in that 43.43. We'll Quick word about Jake Passmore, by the way. Ireland's first ever European diving medal, bronze to the European Junior Championships in Romania. Heat two, it's Peter Galligan of Titans in lane zero, Owen Lynham of Athlone in one, Evan McMahon of Limerick in two, Sean McCurry of ESB in three, Jake Logan of Banbridge in four, Josh O'Neill of Sunday's Well in five, Ricky Fain of Dolphin in six, Lucas Price of Lisbon City in seven, and Brandon Quinn of ESB is in lane eight. And they're all away. Nine in this heat, the second of 17. And it's a good start 
from Owen Lynham of his own in lane one and also in three by Sean McAree of the ESP. 28.41, he's registered on the way into this and he's got the slight lead. It's lanes three and six at the moment. McAree in three, Ricky Fain of Dolphin in six, who was quite prominent for a good bit of yesterday. And the, it's between these two, frankly, and also moving up in seven is Price. It's Fain who takes it, 27.71. Price in second, 27.98. And Evan McMahon in second, 28.06. Fane was looking good. Pulled off a good win. He three on the way. Lachlan Doyle of Castlebar in lane zero. Tom O'Rourke of Athlone in one. Oscar Murphy of Titans in two. Pierce Hanley of Blackrock in three. Thomas Price of Lisbon City in four. Aidan McGrath of Dolphin in five. Luke Wynn of Trojan in six. Mark Cormican of Bluefin seven. Higgins eight. Mulligan nine. And away they go. Nice start in four by Thomas Price of Lisbon City. Pierce Hanley in three for Blackrock. Best start in four by Price. He's got a good advantage over the rest. And also a nice move in seven from Mark Cormigan of Bluefin. Price had done a 28.05 coming into this, but Price has got the notable lead right now. Hanley of Blackrock is coming up as well. Price wins it, 27.49. Hanley in second, 27.66, and Cormican in third, So Heat 4 coming up, Berryman in lane 0, Alex Lee in 1, Vaughan in 2, Henson 3, McIntyre 4, McDowell 5, Carl Kelly 6, Chobot 7, Lanigan 8, Keys 9, and away they go. Belting starting 4 from Connor McIntyre of Curra Swim, and in 3, also in 2 I should say by Alan Vaughan, 3 for Henson, great start by Henson in 3, trying to move up in 5 is Ryan McDowell, Connor McAteer in four is struggling just a bit at the moment. Andrew Henson's looking very good for a throw here in lane three, coming up towards the wall. Henson wins it 27 07. McDowell in second place, and Artem Shobot of Titans is in third place. 27 07, the winning time for Andrew Henson. Heat five, it's Daniel McDowell of Porter Down in lane zero, Michael O'Driscoll in one, Finn Isley in two, Dominic French in three, Mikey Wilmot in four, Owner in five, Lee Oak Mathis six, Simpson seven, Power eight, Holmes nine. And they're all away. And in three, underneath the longest was Dominic French of Sligo, did really well there in four, moving up is Mikey Wilmot of Splash World. And also in six, trying to make a bit of progress, Lee McMathis, Zach Holmes in nine, for Celtic Waves is making waves right over on the far side him and Mikey Wilmot of Splash World Sharks Wilmot in the middle Holmes in nine and Holmes takes it 26 63 ties with Wilmot it's a dead heat Wilmot and Holmes both take it sharing the time 26.63 Heat six, it's Jamie Flynn in lane zero, Barrington one, Lewis Gray in two, Cousins three, Ramchandani in four, Leo Leo in five, O'Grady six, Gill seven, McAvinney eight, Roach McHenry in nine. It's a good start in six for Oshin O'Grady of Ennis Swimming Club. He's got a good advantage. It's Sal Roach McHenry of Cool Mine in lane nine as well. And moving up in two is Lewis Gray of Banbridge, pushing up well is Ram Chandani of Hamilton. I don't think he's going to be there in time. And it's taken by Oshino Grady of Venice, 26.58. Jamie Flynn in second, Lewis Gray in third, 26.58, the winning time for Oshino Grady.
Heat 7, Mallet in 0, Adong in 1, McCarthy 2, Wong 3, Hussey 4, Harvey 5, Lichik 6, Cummings 7, O'Connor 8, Bowie in 9. And they're all away in the 7th heat of 17. And away is Adrian Wong of Trojan. Well, in lane 3, best out of all in lane 7, Benji Cummings of Ards. He's got a really strong lead. 26, 7, 6 going into it, but it's a big lead. The race is for second now, surely. It's Sean O'Connor in eight behind him, but it's all about Benji Cummings here, and he wins it in 25-33. That's fantastic. Great win for Cummings, and Harvey in second place, almost a second behind. Heat 8, Brennan in 0, McCabe in 1, Smith 2, Bugler 3, Bradley 4, Kodach 5, Flanagan 6, Harmon 7, Brennan 8, Morrison 9. So away they go in the 8th heat. Prominent early in lane 7, his own Harmon of Tala and in 6 alongside him, Engus Flanagan of Marlins. But Harmon is maintaining his own pace well at the moment and also in lane four now finally Eamon Bradley is coming up for Trojan it's taken a bit of time in his 50 meters but Bradley has made a good move the victory though is Flanagan's he stayed in touch wins by three hundredths of a second Bradley in second place and Ollie Brennan of Cool Mind is in third 26.12 the winning time Heat nine up next, Martin Bird in lane zero, Jack Turner in one, Calderini in two, Hughes three, Green four, O'Sullivan five, Kearney six, George seven, O'Shea eight, and Sean Kilkenny of Clare Morrison nine. And they're all away swiftly in this very, very full field. And a good start in five by Matt O'Sullivan. Colin Kearney of Castlebar has not started. But O'Sullivan not distracted by that and going well in nine is Sean Kilkenny of Claire Morris as well and in lane zero Martin Bird of Porter Dan. Well they can't be man marking each other. It's Bird in zero, it's Kilkenny in nine and a late surge by Green but it's taken by Kilkenny. 25.89 O'Sullivan second, Green third. Sean Kilkenny the winner of that one out of lane nine. Into heat 10, and it's Woolley in lane 0, Fionn Brown in 1, Fela in 2, McGinley 3, Moore, Aaron Morgan 4, Dara Morgan 5, Maguire 6, Curley 7, Matthew Moan in 8, Liam O'Connor in lane 9. And they're all away. Solid start in lane 6 from Ewan Maguire of the NAC. He started well, and also in 7, Michael Curley of the ESB, and in 8, Matthew Moan of Banbridge in lane 4. Aaron Morgan coming to the fore now for Ealing. The unrelated Darren Morgan alongside of Cool Mine. Aaron Morgan going very well in four. Dominating it well and he wins 25.40. Ewan Maguire in second place from the NAC and Darren Morgan in third. But Aaron Morgan led for most of that. 25.40 his winning time. Heat 11, Thomas Breen in lane 0, Kyo in 1, Harvey 2, Bama 3, Nyland 4, Coogan 5, Mason 6, Rin 7, Kennedy 8, Vasata 9. They're all away, Michal Vasata of the Czech Republic over on the far side in lane 9. A very good start in 7 we're seeing from Cormac Rin of Trident and in 6 from Kian Mason of Kingdom. Mason maintaining his slight advantage but there's not much advantage of all. They're really tight between these ten. Perhaps Nyland can make a little move in four and Coogan in five. But it's Kean Mason who takes it. 25.52. Rin in second place and Coogan third. Mason's win, 25.52. Heat 12, Carl Fagan in lane 0, O'Neill in 1, Patton in 2, Pfeiffer 3, Mercini 4, Saradai Nauji in 5, O'Brien 6, Tamer 7, Gallon 8, O'Loughlin Brophy in lane 9. O'Loughlin Brophy with actually a very good start for Kulmine, and Mark Gallan of Sunday as well, 
in their uh, trademark cap. Going very well in lane eight. In seven, Amir Tamer of Hamilton in Dubai. But it's lane nine, Kilian O'Loughlin Brophy of Cool Mine, who holds the leader, could be the second winner in four heats. Out of lane nine, he's looking good for it. Can he hang on? Yes! O'Loughlin Brophy wins it 25-0 to Pfeiffer in second place and Menachini in third. Kilian O'Loughlin Brophy gets the victory 25-0-2. Heat 13, Corbyn 0, Powen 1, Bissin 2, Mason 3, Shaw 4, O'Sullivan 5, Dudas 6, Noonan 7, Podestin 8, Fit O'Neill of the ESB in lane 9. And they're all underway in this 13th heat. Podest away well for the Czech Republic in lane 8 and in 7. Senna Noonan of Or Erlingus looking very good for it. And in 6, Philip Duda of Longford. Duda's gliding very well for Longford at the moment in lane 0. And Corby as well of Limerick has finally shot up well. And in 2, Brandon Biss of Swim Belfast is going to be very tight. Duda wins it 24 8 0. Out of lane 6, Biss in 2nd. And Corby in lane 0 was in 3rd spot. Heat 14, Wright in zero, Switzerland one, Johnson two, Britain three, Rayan four, Mulholland five, Cook six, O'Connor seven, McLeod eight, and Gene Smith in nine. Underway well in this one. Ali Ryan of Cool Mine under the water quite well and emerging first, and Daniel Mulholland alongside him of Lisbon City. Very, very decent too. And now coming up in three is John Britton of Ealing. So Britton in three, Ryan in four, Mulholland in five. Mulholland slipping back a bit. Britton is taking a slight advantage. Ryan hitting back, but Britton wins it. 24-32, Ryan in second, and Mulholland third. 24-32, the winning time. Heat 15, Berryman in lane 0, Shorten 1, Burton in 2, Powell 3, Sutton 4, Delonge 5, Park 6, Higgins 7, Vodernikov 8 and Coulter in 9. Underway in the third last heat. Merging the furthest in with Sutton of Limerick is a time of 22.97 coming into this but right now it's Philip Delonge of Tux who's out in front of Hedham by a good margin as well. Sutton in second place, James Park in third and a move out of lane one from John Short as well of Bluefin. But what a great performance by Philip Delonge. 23.37, he wins it. Sutton in second, Powell third, Short fourth. Philip Delonge of Tux leading that from start to finish pretty much penultimate heat Fitzmorrison lane 0 Randlin 1 Walsh in 2 Bailey 3 Fannin 4 Thompson 5 Winston 6 Cruz 7 Mulhall 8 Winston 9 and they're all away good leap in 7 by Sam Crew of Swansea University but look at that start in 4 by Tom Fannin of Laser Swimming Club. He is well clear. 22.97 going into this. It's Thompson trailing in his wake of Arts in lane five. Tom Fannin's going to do well here. Fannin wins it. 22.28. What a win. Thompson in second. Bailey in third. But no one could live with that. He wins by 1.11 seconds. 22.28, the winning time for Tom Fannin. The 17th and last heat. It's Talal in zero, Dos Santos in one, Dunyan in two, Thomas Leggett in three, Ryan in four, Shane Ryan of the NAC in lane four, Andrew Moore in five, Dylan Regist in six, Tebit in seven, oh, Brian in eight, Ben Riddle in nine. So away he goes, Shane Ryan. 22.60, his best, the Irish international stalwart, 28 these days, Ryan going strongly, Moore in second place, a battle for third between Leggett and Regist, 
but Shane Ryan coming through to get the win in 23.26. More in second place, Lega third and Rashid fourth. 23-26 is winning time and didn't need to worry about much else. Good job, well done by Shane Ryan in that. Result of Heat 6 to confirm for you, Ashino Grady winning that of Venice. In 26.58, ahead of Jamie Flint and Lewis Gray. We'll be heading into women's 100 meter butterfly races immediately. So there are seven heats in this women's 100 meters butterfly. The lineup of the first hit, Eve Blake of Ennis, the fastest in this field, 113.31, ahead of Kathy McCabe of Glenalbin, 113.98. So Slaurin McGrath, Limerick in lane two, it's Karen McKenna of Asgard in three, Eve Blake of Ennis in four, Kathy McCabe of Glen Alban in five, Alessia Mancini of Italy in six, and uh, Shiva Brady of Lisbon City in lane seven. Blake, the fastest in the field, 113.3, Kathy McCabe 113.98 going into this. Approaching halfway, it's a slight advantage at the moment in for, for Eve Blake, the 15 year old over Kathy McCabe. As they reach the 50 meter mark and Blake will turn 33-4-5 into the lead by just about 0.9 over Karen McKenna of Asgard, 34.33. Kathy McCabe dropping down into third spot in that. Uh, Shiva Brady hasn't started by the looks of things in this incidentally. But Eve Blake has and she's going to finish it and she's going to finish it surely well out in front. Still Karen McKenna of Asgard going well in second spot but being challenged for that by Lauren McGrath Limerick out of lane two at the moment. And Blake may be beginning to tie up a little bit and McGrath right alongside her might be about to nick this one. Blake held on 113.81 McGrath in second place and McKenna third. 113.81. The winning time. Heat two already, and there's ten ready to go in this. Bianca Venoni of Italy and her teammate Chiara Tanchi, the fastest, both 111 swimmers. So it's Ellie Campbell of Trojan in lane zero, Katie Kelly of Shark in one, Ellen Keane of the NAC, the Paralympic hero in two, Emma Marriage of Drawdown in three, Bianca Venoni of Italy four, Chiara Tanchi of Italy in five, Rachel Marshall of Trojan in six, Neve Pierce of Guildford in seven, Vittoria McLean of Trojan in eight, and Gloria Tosti of Italy in lane nine. Good lead in seven by the looks of it. Neve Pierce of Guildford City already, and she leads 32 68. Second spot for Katie Kelly, 33 dead. Campbell in third, 33 22. 
Ellen Keane went through in 34-6-6 if you're looking out for her. But what a good advantage for Neve Pearce of Guildford City in this. And now moving up in lane one, Katie Kelly of Shark Swim Club. Maybe beginning to take things up in the final 15 metres as well. Katie Kelly of Shark has bided a time well to overtake Neve Pearce in the final metres. Can she get to the wall first? She can. Wins her by 0.17. Katie Kelly takes a 111.28. Neve Pearce in second in 0.45. Chiara Tanchi of Italy in third. And Ellen Keane coming through 115.78. Good win that by Katie Kelly, I must say, came back well. And now heat three on the way, including representatives from Italy and the Czech Republic. Ruth Kelly of New Ross, the fastest in this. Going into it, and Fallon Becker of Glen Albin, second fastest. They're only divided by 1100. So it's Ruby Carney of Swan Leisure in lane zero. Nevea Kenny of Erlingus in one. Eleonora Marcucci of Italy in two. Lucy. Sobodovo of the Czech Republic in three, Ruth Kelly of New Ross in four, Fallon Becker of Glen Albin in five, Kaylee Brown of Lurgan in six, Eleanor Driscoll of the ESB in seven, Liana Ledan of Limerick in eight, and Amelia Joyce of Shark. She's in lane nine. Going very well in five right now is Becker. Who'll turn first? Does she get there? Yeah! Fallon Becker turns first in the lead, 32.42. Eleanor Driscoll of the ESB in second, 32.46. And Ruby Carney going very well of Swan Leisure in lane three, in uh, lane zero, and she's in third position right now. So Becker out in front for Glen Albin right now, and Joyce in nine for Shark has moved up well, but alongside Becker now, Ruth Kelly of New Ross, and still in lane zero, Ruby Carney of Swan Leisure. This will be quite tight, as Becker done enough to get the win in this heat. Kelly moving up alongside, and touching the wall first is Ruth Kelly, 109.37, Becker in second, and Sobodova in third spot. Good win, Ruth Kelly of New Ross came from behind to win it. 109.37, her best time. Heat four out of seven, Hannah Malloy of Chojin, the fastest in the field going into it, 108.34, only 15 hundredths of a second between Ruddy Malloy and Neva Hearn. So it's Sarah Salai of St. Fix in lane zero, Saoirse Dolan of Asgard in one, Imogen Sargent of Chelsea and Westminster in two, Lily May Ruddy of Porter Down in three, Hannah Malloy of Trojan in four, Neva Hearn of Kilkenny in five, Pixie Lael Klesitsky of Brompton in six, Grace Coyle of Lyon in seven, Nisha Allen of Terenure in eight, Marguerite Buckley of Clonmel in nine. In this women's 100 butterfly as they approach halfway. It's a good lead in six for Lael Glisitsky of Brompton. Looks like she'll have the advantage of halfway and does. 31.31. Ruddy in second place. Ahern in third. And Nisha Allen of Terenure in fourth spot. Keeping things going well is Lael Glisitsky in lane six. But now moving up in five alongside is Neva Hearn of Kilkenny. Very little between them in terms of pre-race on paper. Lael Klesiski keeping it going well. In lane eight, Nisha Allen of Terenure has moved up well. And in lane one as well, Sisha Dolan of Asgard. Lael Klesiski will take this. No major challenge at the front of her. She wins 107.10. Dolan in second, 108.47. Out of lane one, Malloy in third spot. And Nisha Allen fourth. 107.10, the winning time. Dolan second. Heat five, Lucy Thornton of Erlingus with the fastest time going into the of 102.68. So Sarah Davidson of Leander in lane zero, Heather Fain of Dolphin in one, Tony Jameson of Lisbon City in two, Michaela Kisilova of the Czech Republic in three, Lucy Thornton of Verlingas in four, Jana Kurtz of Tux in five, Sophia Quigley of Ards in six, Anna Fien in the Sunday's Well in seven, Kellyanne Brown of the NAC in eight, and Anna McKernan of Van Bridge in lane nine. 102.68 Thornton's fastest time going into this, and she's leading the way at the moment alongside Jana Kurtz of Tux in lane five. Which of the two will get there first? It's going to be Thornton who leads, 29.79.
Kurtzen second place, only by three hundredths of a second. Quigley in third, Kieselova four, and Heather Fain of Dolphin in fifth spot. Slight advantage for Thornton over Kurtzer at halfway, and now building her advantage, Thornton making good in the final 25. It's Thornton, Kurtzer, Quigley, the one, two, three, by quite considerable margins right now, and the rest are well behind. It's going to be Lucy Thornton to get the victory for Erlingus, and she takes a 103.02. Second will be Quigley. Gets their head of Jameson in second in the third, and Kurtzer really fell back in the end into fourth place. But Lucy Thornton wins that 103.02. Heat six has Ellie McKibben of Ards, fastest going into this 102.45 alongside Sarin Semchi of Sunday as well. So underway, Eliza Logan of Banbridge in zero. Avon Ivory of Asgard does not start in lane one. Faith Haber to swim Belfast in two. Ella Donegan of Lyon in three. Ellie McKibben of Ards in four. Sarin Semchi of Sunday as well in five. Hanno Shea of Dolphin in six, Eva Bailey of Ballymena in seven, Grace Conroy of Lisbon City in eight, and Paige Austin Burroughs of Rushmore Royals in nine. Dominating well as Ellie McKibben at the moment in four, and going well about at four hours. A really strong advantage over Saren Semchi of Sunday's World. Turns first in 28.57, Semchi in second, a second and a half behind. Hanno Shea in third, and Ella Donegan of Lyon in fourth spot. But Ellie McKibben, this is a really good, strong lead four odds with Saren Semchi firmly in second spot a good gap back into third for Hanno Shea but remember the margins were quite well established with 25 to go in the previous heat and then that got broken up heavily I don't think that's going to happen here McKibben's going to win it Semchi will be in second place maybe a doubt about O'Shea in third McKibben wins at 102.96 Semchi in second and O'Shea does take third spot and in McKibben wins it for odds, 102.96 the winning time. So McKibben, the winner of that sixth heat. There's been a disqualification I think it was Eva Bailey not quite sure about that well, I'm not sure that's right at all there was an Eva Bailey of Ballymena in that there's an Eva Bailey of New Ross in this surname spelt differently let's go into that uh, for you in a moment So there's 10 going in this and the uh, preeminence of Eva Bailey continues in this one. Two races in a row. Let's we'll see if this one goes a little better. So it's Brogan O'Hara of Leander in lane zero, Rachel Harris of Brompton in one, Hannah McCabry of Logan in two, Alana Burns Atkin of Bambridge in three, Karen Herbst of Tuxton four, Inga Weidemann of Tuxton five, Rosie Whitney of Swim Belfast in six, Eva Bailey of New Ross in seven, Izzy McGrath of Dolphin in eight, and Megan Jones of Port Marnock is in lane nine. What a really good start in lane four by Karen Herbst over Inga Weidemann. It's Tux one and two, and by a long way. Moving up in lane three is Alana Burns Atkin of Bambridge but as they reach halfway Herbs leads 29 seconds dead Vitamin in second 29.55 and Burns Atkin in third 29.77 and the rest are about a second and a half behind at best but they haven't burned off Burns Atkin just yet Tucks one and two it certainly is it's Karen Herbs going well 101.66 her best time coming into this and Vitamin right now is just holding off Alana Burns Atkin but not by very much Karen Herbst is going to win this. It'll be by a very good margin. She won't break the minute, but she will 
win in 102.77 and second goes to Weidemann with Bern Zatkin in third and McCabry in fourth spot and Karen Herbs leading that quite dominantly from start to finish. So Karen Herbst wins, 102.77, Vitamin second, Burns Atkin in third. So we go into 11 heats with the men's 100 meters butterfly. Five going in the first heat. So Scott McIver of Leander in lane two, Pierce Hanley of Blackrock in three, Oscar Murphy of Titans in four, Leo Callahan of Breffney in five, and Frederick Moore of Lone in lane six. Good start by Oscar Murphy of Titans. One ten nine nine is time going into this and looking quite secure in the first 25 meters at least four titans also going well in six for Athlone is Frederick Morrow as they approach halfway Murphy defending his position so far well four titans as he moves up gets the touch first Morrow in second place and third is Hanley fourth is O'Callaghan and fifth is Scott McIver still out in front and quite Secure as Oscar Murphy for the time being, but Frederick Moro of Athlone now has made a good move and leads with 25 to go. Frederick Moro, 1-11-9-4 man going into this, but he leads now by about half a length. Ahead of Oscar Murphy in second place, Pierce Hanley beginning to draw up alongside Murphy in the final 10 metres. The Black Rock man Hanley is, but this well-timed, well-pounced Frederick Moro wins at 109.22. Murphy in second spot holds off Hanley into third. So heat two is James Green of Bally Money, the fastest entrant, 108.11. It's Mihir Ramchandani of Hamilton Aquatics Dubai in lane zero. Bryn Mulwinnie of Leander in one. Joshua Hunt of Limavady in two. Jamie O'Keefe of Port Marnock in three. James Green of Ballymoney in four. Bryn Fitzpatrick of Lisbon City in five. Glenn Comerford of Tala in six. Oshin Mari of Kilkenny in seven. Carl Kelly of Sligo in eight. And Lewis Fitzpatrick of Lisbon City in lane nine. It's a really good start, frankly, in lane four by James Green of Ballymoney and also in six by Glenn Comerford of Tala who leads Comerford 30.37 then comes Green 30.97 in second spot third is Fitzpatrick of Lisbon 31.16 with Morwini fourth and Joshua Hunt of Limavady in fifth spot but Glenn Comerford going brilliantly for Tala in lane six now moving up in nine Sean O'Connor of Venice could be challenging for second spot in a moment second place still held though by James Green but Comerford has made a move at a good time and in lane one what a surge up by Bryn Mulwini of Leander well this is tight Green still going in lane four and the victory goes to Mulwini 107.13 Fitzpatrick in second and third is Ram Chandani fourth is James Green but Mulwini wins out of lane one what a good victory as well 107 that was As we go into heat three, and it's Aina Garvey of Mallow Swans, who's in lane zero, the fastest no switzer of Dolphin going into it. It's Aina Garvey of Dolphin, Aina Garvey of Mallow Swans in lane zero, Jack Delaney of Claire Morris in one, Luke Woolley of Claire Morris in two, Sebastian Berryman of Bangor in three, no switzer of Dolphin in four, Thomas Price of Lisbon City in six, Ricky Fain of Dolphin in seven, Manu Batello de la Vega of ESP in eight, and Sean O'Connor of Venice in lane nine. Now this is a very good start in lane two by Luke Willey of Claire Morris and also in four Noah Switzer just trying to make his move up but it is Woolley who leads 29.23. Jack Delaney is Claire Morris 
Club colleague in second spot, Switzer in three. Fourth is Aina Garvey and fifth is Ricky Payne of Dolphin, who's been quite prominent in the past 24 hours. But now the lead, really strong, being led up by Luke Woolley and the only man challenging him is the man wearing the same swim cap alongside him, also Claire Morris, Jack Delaney. Claire Morris one, Claire Morris two. Who's gonna take this? It's Woolley in two, above. Delaney in one and Delaney's going to win it 104.11 and he takes 3.3 seconds off his time magnificent Woolley in second and Ricky Fain in third what a performance hey Thor has done a McCarthy of New Ross as the fastest going into it, 105.11. Lowest grade, second fastest, Banbridge, 105.19. So, Kean George of Tullamore in lane zero, Rory Boyd of Kingdom in one, Connor Lanigan of Trident in two, Owen Rin of Trident in three, Dunham McCarthy of New Ross in four, Lewis Gray of Banbridge in five, James Larkin of Kilkenny in six, Ardis Pochevicius of St. Fix in seven. Ferdia Hayes of Ennis in eight. Dominic French of Sligo is in lane nine. And going well in five here, Lewis Gray of Banbridge looking very, very strong. Trying to move up is Dunno McCarthy of Neuros alongside him in four. But it's Lewis Gray who leads 29.62 at halfway. 800 is clear of Kean George of Tullamore in lane zero. He's in second spot. And Dunno McCarthy of Neuros is third, trying to make his way back into it. Good lead being held by Lewis Gray. Worth keep your eyes open for lane zero down the near side for Lewis George. Still Gray hanging on. Dunham McCarthy fighting back at the top two out of lane four, but Gray at the moment going well in five. And George as well, and who'll take it? It's McCarthy! Oh, he did come up on him in the end, and he took it by two hundredths of a second. 104.12 for McCarthy of New Ross. Gray in second, and third was Kean George. 104.12, the winning time. Heat five is Gene Smith of Bangor, the fastest going into it, 104.24. Matthew McAvaney of Kilkenny in lane zero, Alex Barrett of Black Rock in one, Corey Bowden of Limerick in two, Benji Cummings of Ards in three, Gene Smith of Bangor in four, Dara Hughes of Sleep Beg in five, Kaelin Geng of Galway in six, Mehmet Zerin of Brompton in seven, Evan Simpson of the NAC in eight, and Evan McCabe of Tala, he's in lane nine. Prominent, Gene Smith of Bangor to date out of lane four, and making a bit of a move in eight as well as Cormac Rin. Yes! He's got the lead as well, and very impressively too. That's Evan Simpson, and Dara Hughes leads at the halfway mark. Dara Hughes in five, just leading ahead of Gene Smith of Bangor, but going well is Evan Simpson of the NAC as well. He's in eight, and he has the slight advantage too, does Evan Simpson. Hughes just falling back slightly down into third, as Gene Smith of Bang Bangor tries to make his way up to the front and overtake Simpson here in the final five meters. Did he get a touch? He did, Smith wins it, 102.55. Simpson of the NAC in second place and Alex Barrett in third for Black Rock. But victory, good victory for Gene Smith of Bangor. Heat six fastest going into it, Aaron Peng of Tala, who's clocked 103.42 this season, 900s faster than Bradley Mitchell of Swim Belfast. So they're all away, the nine of them in this. Jacob Martin of Swim Belfast in zero, Odin Mealy of Tume in one, Eamon Bradley of Trojan in two, Shane Donnell of the NAC in three, Aaron Peng of Talent in four, Bradley Mitchell of Swim Belfast five, Alfie Shaw of Lisbon City in six, Alior Maximoff of Hamilton Dubai in seven, Cormac Rin of Trident in eight, and Kyle Fagan overthrown in lane nine. It's a very, very good start in two by Eamon Bradley and also in six by Alfie Shaw. Martin leads for Sunday's World, 28.83 in lane zero. It's Shaw in second place. In third is Kyle Fagan of Athlone who's in lane nine. So lane zero first, lane nine in third. Can they keep the momentum up? 
It's Eamon Bradley of Trojan going well in lane two and also in six, Alfie Shaw of Lisbon City. Shaw's maintaining his momentum well. Bradley also in two. Shaw looks to be slightly in front. It's between these two, going to the wall first. Shaw got it right, 101.73. Bradley in second place, 102.22. And Rin in third for Trident. But Alfie Shaw gets the win, 101.73. So into heat seven, the fastest going into this, Dennis O'Brien of Limerick, 102.43, nine hundreds faster than Samuel Wright of Bangor. Matthew Moan of Banbridge on the near side with the red cap in the blue and black. Togs, it's Eamon Smith of Longford, who's gone out to 103.2 and in the black alongside him and two, Ben Moran of Erlingus. Now, we're gonna see a bit of Barry Clements as well of Ards. So we're underway, it's Matthew Moan of Banbridge in lane zero, Eamon Smith of Longford in one, Ben Moran of Erlingus in two, Barry Clements, Paris Swimmer of Ards in three, Dennis O'Brien of Limerick in four, Samuel Wright of Bangor in five, Martin Fela of Coleraine in six, Adam Lynch of Sleeve Vega in seven, Tomas O'Neill of the NAC in eight, and own trainer of Claire Morris is in lane nine. Good start in seven for Adam Lynch of Sleeve Vega, and also behind him now in eight is Thomas O'Neill of the NAC. Lynch leads 27.25, trainer in second place. Third is Samuel Wright, and fourth is Martin Fela of Coleraine and he is in lane six. But well, what a brilliant start in this by Adam Lynch, going really well out of lane seven and looking really good for victory, even at the halfway point on the way home. Bit of a response finally coming from Samuel Wright of Bangor, and who else? Well, lane two, Ben Moran of Aer Lingus. It's a real fight for him to try and defend this. It might not go Lynch's way at all. This could go to Wright in the center, and it has done. Wright wins it. 101.49 and Moran was second. O'Brien third, Lynch four, really tied up. But the win goes to Samuel Wright, 101.49. Eight eight sees Peter Higgins of UCD, the fastest going into it with 101.14. Same as Killian O'Connor, by the way, of Glen Alban. So it's Filippo Calderini of Italy in zero, Ben Riddle of Ards in one, Dylan O'Brien of Ennis in two, John Mulhall of Trojan in three, Peter Higgins of UCD in four, Killian O'Connor of Glen Alban in five, Dennis Edgar of Lisburn City in six, Renan Kilcoyne of Sligo in seven, Ollie Brennan of Coolmine in eight, and Johan Bame of East Cavan is in lane nine. Great start in seven by Ronan Kilcoyne of Sligo, no doubt about that. And four, Peter Higgins, five kill, no Connor, who'll get the touch first. It's Higgins, 27-61, ahead of Danny Lego, 27-64, only three hundredths of a second between them. And O'Connor in third spot, and Ronan Kilcoyne in fourth. Leading the way in lane four, Peter Higgins of UCD, pretty much as you'd expect, but you'd also expect Kill and O'Connor to be right up with them all the way. And that's very much the case. Danny Lego as well, of Limerick City, FC has made a good advantage, uh, Lisbon City should I say, but now trying to survive in five is Killian O'Connor and the touch comes from O'Connor, the 59.60, Danny Ledger in second, 59.90 and Ronan Kilcoyne third, a minute, 0.49. So lane nine sees Ross Hardigan, the fastest going to this of Tux. He has a colleague in Gianni De Santos alongside him. Hardigan 55-3-6. It's Lorenzo Pirotti of Italy in lane zero. Dara Morgan of Coolmine in one. 
Sean Donlan of Glenalbin in two, Jenna Dos Santos of Tucson three, Ross Hardigan of Tucson four, Alex McClellan and Mar of Kilkenny in five, Adam Colgan of Lisburn City in six, Kian Mason of Kingdom Swimming Club in lane seven, it is Oshin Tabit of the NAC in eight, and Liam Oak Mathers of Bambridge. He is in lane nine. The first touch coming from Hardigan of Tucks. 26.31 ahead of his teammate Gianni De Santos by 0.34. McClellan Mar of Kilkenny takes third place. Well, the original and best in lane four, Ross Hardigan of Tucks. Looking very strong. And in three, Gianni De Santos of Tucks. They'll get the top two. There's not much doubt about that, but going also well in six is Adam Colgan of Lisbon City and Alex McClellan Mar of Kilkenny. It is taken by Hardigan, 56-4-6 to Santos second. And third, McClellan Mar of Kilkenny, fourth for Lisbon, Adam Colgan. All ready for heat nine. All done. Ready for heat ten. Louis Maguire of Brefner in lane zero. Adam Wilson of Bambridge in one. Matthew Handavides in two. Connor Johnson of Kilkenny in three. Evan Bailey of New Ross in four. Brogan McIvany of Kilkenny in five. Dylan Regist of Lisbon City in six. Finley Wright of Bambridge seven. Michael Kerr of Terran in eight. And David Leggett of Lyon in lane nine. That's a good start in four by Evan Bailey of New Ross. And also McAvinney and Regist. That's the one, two, three in that order. Bailey leads 26.10. McAvinney 26.59. And Dylan Regist 26.31. Evan Bailey looking to maintain that really good advantage. He's picked up ahead of McIvany. Also, Dylan Regist of Lisbon in six. But Evan Bailey going brilliantly for New Ross. He's well out in front. He's going to get the win. And it will be very effective too. 55 dead. Evan Bailey takes the win. And that was really emphatic. Second, Brogan McAvenny of Kilkenny. 57.212 and a quarter seconds behind. And Dylan Regist of Lisbon in third. So Heat 11, fastest going into this. Paddy Johnson of Ards, 53.29. Finn McGeever next up for Limerick, 55.76. So Alexander McMullen of Bangor, he's in lane zero. Dara Ronan of Enniskill and Lakeland is in one. David O'Loughlin of Minfield in two. Charlie Eatwell of Ards in three. Paddy Johnson of Ards in four. Finn McGeever of Limerick in five. Callum Ashton of UCD in six. Kenny and Dalek. Bottos in seven for Brown Brompton Swimming Club in lane eight. Luke Cornwell of Lion SC in lane nine. It's Angus Flanagan of Marlin. So halfway, Johnson Lees 25 9 9. It's Ewell in second place. And in third is David O'Loughlin, who went through quite effectively in 26 7 7. But leading the way is Paddy Johnson of Ards. He's able to do a bit of man marking as well while he's going along. Hard to see him being reeled in. He might be though, because here comes his teammate from Ars, Charlie Eatwell. Think he'll be okay. Johnson has enough to take the win. And that was excellent. Johnson wins 29.91 ahead of Eatwell, Ashton, and Aguirre. Good tight one as the results come through. Paddy Johnson getting a good victory in that final heat of the 11.55.90 over his club colleague Charlie Eatwell.
So fastest in the Wounds 200 IM first heat, Maeve McLean of City of Derry. She's gone out to 241.02. Eva Walsh in lane five, 241.44. So Sturdy Perkins of Limerick in lane one, Eve Burns of Leander in two, Carla Tello of Dolphin in three, Maeve McLean of City of Derry in four, Eva Walsh of Temple Oak in five, Amelia Joyce of Shark in six, and Amy Lynch of Sunday's Well in lane seven. 57 entered for this across the six heats. What a big, whopping advantage very early on from Maeve McLean. Does hold a slight advantage over the rest but this has been a great butterfly to start the women's IM as she goes into the backstroke McLean leading 32-62 uh, second ahead of Amelia Joyce of Sharks in second spot and in third Amy Lynch of Sunday's well now does Maeve have any difficulty with the backstroke not so much it seems she's maintaining the really good advantage but now moving up into second place in lane Seven is Amy Lynch of Sunday's Well. Well, she's maintained a good advantage as she comes towards the end of the backstroke, going into the breaststroke now, a lead of about a length. She'll turn first. Maeve McLean, 111.45, and in second spot. Took a while for Amy Lynch to get there, Sunday's Well, 114.38. Teller is third, Eva Walsh in fourth place. Virtuoso stuff from her so far as she goes into the breaststroke and chasing her down now. Amy Lynch of Sunday's Well. Will it be McLean or Lynch? Or some other live candidate? Carla Teller's going very well for Dolphin, I should say, in lane three as well. So it's not going all of May McLean's way from the city of Derry, and she'll probably hope that this breaststroke ends as quickly as possible because coming way out in lane seven leading the way is Amy Lynch Amy Lynch leads 201.58 her advantage is less than half a second over Carla Teller in second Maeve McLean in third Mindy Joyce in four good advantage 25 to go Amy Lynch taking them up of Sunday's well the big battle for second place between the long-time leader Mae McLean and Eva Walsh. Carla Teller as well, and Teller is winning this battle against Mae McLean. It's going to be a very good victory for Amy Lynch, a winner out of lane seven for Sunday's well, 239.30. Teller in second place and McLean in third. Amy Lynch winning out of lane seven. So underway in heat two of the 200, the four by 50 individual medley. It's Megan Diamond of Ards in lane zero, Brianna Chamberlain of Cookstown in one, Neve Pierce of Guildford City in two, Marguerite Buckley of Clomel in three, Evan Ivory of Asgard in four, Ellie Bingham of Bambridge five, Alana Burns Atkin of Bambridge in six, Ruby Carney of Swan Leisure seven, Leah Conlove of Lone in eight, Holly Clifford of Port Marnock is in lane nine, and Evan Ivory of Asgard again doesn't start this one. Hope nothing too drastic has happened. Burns Atkin leads for Bambridge 30.38, leads by three seconds almost over Neve Pierce in second spot. And in third is Marguerite Buckley, Neve Pierce of Guildford City Swimming Club. But what a really, really powerful advantage for Alana Burns Atkins so far for Banbridge, leading pretty much by two full lengths at the very least. Bit of a fight back from Ellie Bingham in this backstroke, breaststroke to come next. Burns Atkin leads, Bingham in second place, big joust for third, but Chamberlain has done that as they come through into the breaststroke. 111.71 for Burns Atkin, her lead by 0.8 over Bingham. Third is Leah Connell. Bit of a fight back now in the breaststroke, which is only 50 metres. Bingham coming back and Burns Atkin really well. 
Burns Atkin trying to defend her way well, but at the moment it's not going brilliantly. The two Bambridge clubmates are the ones who are fighting for first and second in this heat at the moment. A bit of a comeback coming in heat eight by Leah Connell from a flown. It's going to be interesting to see who's still in front if Burns Atkin can still lead with 50 to go. And the leader with 50 to go. Burns Atkin, 157.71. Bigger in second, still 0.39 behind. And Leah Connell in third, who's made up a lot of ground on the top two from Banbridge. But this, the 50 freestyle, the race to the wall. It's Bingham who's leading Burns Atkin for this. And in third spot, going very well out of lane eight, is Leah Connell. But it is going to be. Ellie Bingham gets up ahead of Alana Burns Atkin and wins it in 233.02 with Connell in third place. He three of six, Darcy Walker of Bambridge the fastest going into this 234.26. And Tanina Sek of Sunday's Well in Lane 0, Hannah Malloy of Trojan in 1, Ala Henry of Lisbon City in 2, Michelle O'Shea of Dolphin in 3, Darcy Walker of Bambridge in 4, Clara Torrey of Carrick Finns in 5, Tony Jameson of Lisbon City in 6, Lena Lund of the NAC in 7, Lily Mark of St. Felix in 8, and Sophie Nolan of Terenure is in Lane 9. And going very well in 4 is Darcy Walker, not the only one going brilliantly in 2 is Isla Henry and in six Tony Jameson of Lisbon at the end of this first discipline the fly that turning now into the backstroke and leading the way is Jameson for Lisbon 31.96 second is Darcy Walker of Banbridge and third is Isla Henry of Lisbon they're all divided by half a second uh, Clara Darty was in fourth place of Carrick Finns who's going very strongly in the backstroke right now in lane six is Tony Jameson in lane three, Michelle O'Shea. O'Shea has just come out in front now. And also in lane one, Hannah Malloy of Trojan is coming into the four a bit more. And also in lane zero, Antonina Sek of Sunday as well. So who leads at halfway? It's Henry. Wow, what a 110.42. Jameson in second place and Antonina Sek in third. And that's quite remarkable coming out of lane zero as they go into the breaststroke. It's really tight between lanes two, four, five, and six. That's Henry Walker, Doherty, and Jameson. And Michelle O'Shea of Dolphin is now moving up to join them. And I should tell you in lane zero, Anthony Nisek of Sunday's Well is still looking very, very strong indeed. And she's making her way up towards the leaders. Little bit of a fallback happening now to Isla Henry, having done so well, a couple of runs ago 50 meters remaining four and five looking good now walker and doherty it's walker leads michelle o'shea in second place tony jameson in third cloud doherty in fourth really strong advantage in the final freestyle coming in lane six for tony jameson a decent advantage for her over lane three michelle o'shea of Dolphin. Clara Doherty of Carrick Finns in third place and Darcy Walker of Bambridge as well in four. It's going to be taken well here by Tony Jameson. 232.76. O'Shea in second, Doherty third and Markey four. Tony Jameson wins that. 232.76. Held her own well. Heat four coming up. Fastest going into this Naomi trait of Kilkenny, 223.76. Next, Megan Jones and Port Marnock in lane five, 226.31. Amy Noble of Asgard in lane zero. Pixie Lale Kasitsky of Brompton in one. Caitlin Delonge of Tucks in two. Eva Dorn of Erlingus in three. Naomi trait of Kilkenny in four. Megan Jones and Port Marnock in five. Eva Bailey of New Ross in six, Paige Austin Burroughs of Rushmore in seven, Tuna Van Yarsfeld of Tux in eight, and Sarah Selai of St. Felix in 
lane nine. It's a very good start in four by Naomi Trait of Kilkenny in this first element. The butterfly, it'll be the backstroke in a moment. And also going well in seven is Paige Austin Burrows. But our leader is Caitlin Launch of Tugs after the opening 50, 29.55. In second place by over a second is Leo Kleditsky. Navy trait up in third, Eva Bailey in fourth, but going so well in lane two right now for Caitlin Delonge. Lead is a full two lengths. Navy trait of Kilkenny in second spot, she in lane four and lane three. The man who's in third place. Doran going well for Erlingus as they hit the halfway mark, heading into the breaststroke. And what a very good advantage this is right now for Caitlin Delonge of Tux. Well, she's 228 in her career and going very well in that. And in lane four, Naomi Trait of Kilkenny. In three, Aoife Doran of Erlingus. Strong advantage in the breaststroke. Still around 65 metres to go, but what a big lead around three lengths it is. Caitlin Delonge will be in front by a long way. The final turn going into the freestyle here. It's Caitlin Delonge, 146.70. And the rest are about six, seven seconds down. It's Naomi Trait, who's six seconds down, 152.68. Aoife Dorn in third, and fourth is Lil Klesitsky. It's doing a good job so far for Brompton but what a massive advantage all the way through for Caitlin Delonge for Tux coming through 15 to go and the rest won't be able to reel her in Naomi Trait of Kilkenny in second spot and by a long way so Caitlin Delonge wins it 221.99 in second place almost certainly will be Naomi Trait of Kilkenny with the cat headgear Aoife Doran, third, Ferlingus, 229, 84, and fourth, Lel Klesiski. Excellent win for Caitlin Delonge, 221.99. So heat five coming up, Clementina Frankova, the Czech Republic, the fastest going into this 220.07. So it's Eva Bailey of Ballymena in lane zero, Heather Fain of Dolphin in one, Isabel Kidney of Sunday as well in two. Molly Nalti of Swilly Seals in three, Clementina Frankova, the Czech Republic in four, Amelia Uri of Bangor in five, Beth Nolan of Sunday as well in six, Hannah O'Shea of Dolphin in seven, they Pony of Ards in eight and Schuller Daffy of Brompton in nine. Butterfly to start as usual. Good start in four by Clementina Frankova of the Czech Republic. Also going well in seven, Hanno Shea of Dolphin. And in one, Heather Fain of Dolphin, who's in second place behind Frankova. 31 0 1. She leads. Fain in second place. And third is Molly Nulty in third. Going into the backstroke. In lane four, Frankova. In lane six, Beth Nolan of Sunday's Well. Beginning to even up a lot in this. Molly Nolte of Swilly Seals has moved up in lane three. Looking as if she's going to lead at halfway. Frankova trying to prevent that in seven. And now moving up well in lane six is Beth Nolan of Sunday's Well. The leader has to be one of these three. Or maybe it'll be lane eight. It's Nate Poutney. It's Nolan by 0 0.03 over Poutney at halfway as they go into the breaststroke, it's Frankova in third spot, 109.40, and Nolte in fourth place, and it's only about 0.16 between the top four at halfway, deep into the breaststroke, and it's Frankova who leads for the Czech Republic, Nolan in second spot for Sunday's well, and the rest getting a little bit bogged down, moving up is Han O'Shea of Dolphin, the rest being bogged down look to be Kidney and Nolte in two and three, but we'll see what their positioning is with 50 to go. But Frankova, the Czech Republic, turns in first place. 149.70, and just the dash to the other wall to come. Leads by four and a half seconds. Nave Poutney in front, 154.15. In third spot, Molly Nolte, 154.30. And the fourth, Beth Nolan, 
uh, 54.3. But what a major lead all the way for Clementina Frankova of the Czech Republic. The 17-year-old is coming through to win and by a really, really good margin. Big battles in second place being led at the moment by Pountney and eight for Ards. But there's the win. Frankova takes a 224.98. Second uh, coming up, Nave Poutney did well in eight for Ards and Beth Nolan of Sunday's Well in third for Isabel Kidney of Sunday's Well. So Frankova, big winner in heat five. This heat six to wrap up and Ellie McCartney of Ards. Fastest going into this, 219.50. So Ellie Campbell of Trojan, Hannah O'Connor of Limerick, Samantha Randall of Tux, Ellie McCartney of Ards, Kira Aiken of Ards, Roberto Pino of Italy, Hannah McCabry of Lurgan, Roisin Nirene of Limerick in lane nine, Livia Miskley of Bambridge. In lane four, Ellie McCartney looking very good. I do see that Hannah is yet, there's nobody starting in lane two actually. Hannah O'Connor is going well for Limerick in one but gliding away in four is Ella McCartney of Ards right now alongside her club colleague Kira Aiken will they be the one two at halfway they are 20.42 for McCartney 31.27 for Aiken Roberto Pina of Italy in third spot 31.53 and in fourth uh, looked to be I think it was Hanno O'Connor actually of Limerick approaching halfway deep into the backstroke and well clear is Ellie McCartney of Ards leading by a length and three quarters ahead of Samantha Randall of Tux Aiken in uh, third spot of Ards and leading a halfway Ellie McCartney at 106.79 Randall in second 108.29 and Aiken of Ards third 109.60 with Roberto Pina in fourth place Going into the breaststroke, still well, well out in front is Ellie McCartney of Ards. With the lead maybe being reeled in a little bit by Samantha Randall during this breaststroke of Tux. Really fighting for this. Heading towards the wall and still about five metres to go for the final turn. But she looks so good and so comfortable. Well out in front, Ellie McCartney. 147.40 and the lead is four seconds to Kira Aiken of Ards 151.60 with Randall 151.90 Roberto Pina comes next for Italy a further five seconds behind but this is very very good from Ellie McCartney 219.50 her best time this looks there is going to be around the same mark but Hanno Cora has done brilliantly and tremendously in this heat she wins it she wins it well and she hits the wall in 221.03 big race coming up for second spot between Randall and Aiken and Randall beats Aiken for that Pino in fourth spot fifth is Hannah O'Connor in sixth is Hannah McCabry Coming up will be the men's 200 metres backstroke. And again, a lot of the familiar names are in this. So Patrick Bowie of the NAC will be the fastest in this first heat of nine in the men's 200 backstroke, 231.74. Alex Barrett of Blackrock, second fastest, 232.73. And Andrew Lipscomb of Cookstown in three, 232.74. So backstroke it is.
Daniele Tedesco of Ealing in one, Alan Vaughan of Marlins in two, Andrew Lipska of Cookstown in three, Patrick Bowie of the NAC in four, Alex Barrett of Blackrock in five, David Killen of Clonmel in six, Dylan Lunny of Leander in seven, and Arthur Johnson, he of Kilkenny, he is in lane eight. Very good start in lane three, coming from Andrew Lipscomb of Cookstown, and in six as well from David Killen of Clonmel who gets the first touch though three and four out of it at the moment it's a good turn by the way in lane one and it's Tedesco who leads for Ealing out of lane one 32.92 Lipscomb in second 33.84 and David Killen in lane six in third spot from Clonmel Well, going very well in lane one as they approach 20 metres to go. Towards uh, halfway, Daniela Tedesco of Ealing maintains his advantage right at the front of it all, and he'll lead by a good margin to Tedesco, 108.77. Second is Lipscomb, 111.42. Third, Bowie. Fourth, Killeen. And fifth, Barrett. Sixth, Dylan Lunny. But Tedesco, as he approaches the 125 metre mark, has got a lead of around two and a bit lengths. Keeping pace well is Andrew Lipscomb, not necessarily with Tedesco, but with himself, the Cookstown man, and certainly head of those in lanes four and five, Bowie and Barrett, who've got a lot to do to get themselves into the reckoning, despite being in the middle lanes. Tedesco, so imperious to date, 147.30. That's a really strong advantage of four seconds. Lipscomb turns in second place. Third is Alex Barrett, fourth is Patrick Bowie, Fifth is David Killeen, Tedesco, really, really strong, and he's showing it. These by two lengths at the very least. Gamer coming into the second position, but what a big lead all the way through for Tedesco. He's going to win. Nobody's going to challenge him. Tedesco will get the win for Ealing. Two. Uh, 25.97 Lipscomb in second place and Bowie taking fourth spot behind Barrett So heat two coming up. The fastest going to this from its loan, Dara Rusk. 230.67, five hundreds clear of Seamus Carroll of Lisburn City. So lane zero is Pierce Rice of Bambridge, lane one Alexi Jacoban of Lisbon City, and lane two Darren Yaslanoff of Kilkenny, lane three Lewis McGuire of Breffney, lane four Dara Rusk of Athlone, lane five Seamus Carroll of Lisbon City, lane six Owen Rin of Trident, lane seven Mark Galland of Sunday's Well, lane eight Fionn Nugent of Asgard, and lane nine Sean Bugler of Sunday's Well. Really good start in seven, I have to say, by Mark Galland, and particularly in lane nine by Sean Bugler of Sunday's Well, who was quite prominent yesterday. And moving up in four now is Dara Rusk of Athlone. As they hit the wall for the end of the first 50 in this 200 backstroke, it's Rusk who leads, 33.19. Bugler in lane nine in second spot, 33.26. And Seamus Carroll of Lisbon in third, 33.51, with Gallon of Sunday's Well in fourth spot. Beginning to take a bit of control here, Dara Rusk heading towards the 75 metre mark. And now moving up the man alongside him, Seamus Carroll of Lisbon, looking very effective. But the challenge not yet gone from Sean Bugler of Sunday's Well. He in nine, he's still up in third spot, but trying to move up alongside him in seven, Mark Gallan of Sunday's Well. They're approaching halfway, and it's Dara Rusk of Athlone, who has the really good advantage here. 109.90, leads by 0.84 over Sean Bugler of Sunday's Well. He's in second, third is Seamus Carroll, fourth is Mark Gallan of Sunday's Well, and fifth is Pierce Rice. Heading towards 125 in the 200 backstroke. 
He's done this all the way through, Dara Russ. Can he keep his strength and momentum going? Trying to challenge in lane seven is Mark Gallen of Sunday's Wall now, but it's still going really well for Dara Russ goes alone. He's been our long-term leader. Well, he's done very well at 150. Rusk still leads 147.78. The lead 1.15 over Sean Bugler in second place from Sunday's well. Mark Gallen in third and James Carroll in fourth now. Fifth is Alexi Schackerman of Lisbon. It's a good lead for this discipline. Very difficult to be caught up with uh, an accelerating force. Dara Rusk of Athlone maintaining his really good advantage. Mark Gallen of Sunday's Well has moved up into second place. In third remains Sean Bugler of Sunday's Well. But it's going to be Dara Rusk of Athlone. He comes through and he takes the victory in 224.4. A Mark Gallen of Sunday's Well wasn't that far away. 224.97 and Sean Bugler third, 226.79. So Michael Hussey of Galway is the fastest going into this in this fourth heat. Sean McMahon of Glen Albin in five. They're both 229 men and divided by one hundredth of a second. It is heat three of the 200 backstroke. So Mark Cormican of Bluefin in lane zero. Toby Baker of Ealing in one. Daniel Beggs of Lyon in two. Luke Wynn of Trojan in three. Michael Hussey of Galway in four. Sean McMahon of Glen Albin in five. Thomas Price of Liberal in City in six. Killian McCullough of Galway in seven. Aridas Pochavicius of St. Felix in eight. And Charlie Brennan of Asgard in lane nine. Good start in four, all things considered, by Michael Hussey of Galway. Holding a good advantage and now moving up in seven. Killian McCulloch of Galway leaving the rest behind a bit and in lane zero Mark Cormican of Bluefin and he leads 32.70 it's Hussey in second place 32.84 win in third and McCulloch in fourth spot for Galway but as we move out heading towards 125 in lane four Michael Hussey of Galway in lane zero Mark Cormican of Bluefin and at the moment they're all beginning just to try and edge up on the leader Coming out of lanes three, five, and seven, that'll be Luke Wynn, Sean McMahon, and Killian McCullough. Well, the lead continuing unabated for Michael Hussey over the man in lane zero, Mark Cormigan. He has an advantage of half a second, 108.56. Cormigan in second, and McCulloch in third. And fourth is Sean McMahon. So you approach 125. Still going there, still going strongly is Michael Hussey fabulously out of lane four now they've moved up in the other lanes alongside in five Sean McMahon in three Luke Wynn heading towards the wall for 150 how much will the lead be has it increased has it rocketed downwards it's uh, Michael Hussey 145.52 the gap is still half a second Mark Cormigan in second place Sean McMahon in third, 148.71, and McCulloch now moves into fourth. But surely it's too much to reel Michael Hussey of Galway in at this stage, and that surely is not what all the rest are thinking about. Mark Cormican going really well in second spot for Bluefin. Hussey does seem to be tying up a bit, and the rest can take advantage. Sean McMahon in five, Luke Wynn in three. It will be a win by narrow margin for Michael Hussey, 221.71. Second is Cormican, just over a second behind. And McCulloch, three, it's Lucrin, four. Heat for the men's 200 backstroke is James McDonald of Kilkenny, the 
Fastest going into it, 226.60. Then Oshie McNicola Balamina, 227.14. Ricky Fain of Dolphin in lane zero, Dominic French of Sligo in one, Adrian Wong of Trojan in two, Elias Sones of Hamilton Aquatics Dubai in three, James McDonald of Kilkenny in four, Oshin McNicola of Ballymena in five, Samuel Burke Carey of Tala in six, James Woolley of Clare Morris in seven, Luke Woolley of Clare Morris in eight, and Caelan Gang of Galway in lane nine. So we'll see how Woodley and Woodley get on. Well, I can tell you it's Luke who's performing a bit better than uh, James at the moment. And actually, Luke Willey's performing better than nearly everybody. Coming up is Oshin McNichol, who leads 32.80. Luke Willey in second place, 32.90. James McDonald in third, and Elias Stones in fourth place. As we come towards the 75 meter mark of the 200. Well, he's still right up there, I have to say, is Luke Willey. There's a point where he might almost be in front. In the middle, James McDonald of Kilkenny, Oshin McNichol of Ballymena, all coming into the road as we approach the halfway point. This is going to be very, very tight. And the lead is held still by Elias Stones of uh, Hamilton, 109.31. McDonald in second spot, 109.39. And in third uh, was Luke Woolley of Claire Morris. Good fight by Elias Sones of Hamilton in lane three, trying to fight off James McDonald of Kilkenny. But across from him, way, way across into lane, uh, I guess lane eight, is Luke Woolley, who's enjoying life and is well clear. 50 to go. The lead is held by Elias. It's not, it's James McDonald, 146.91. Elias Sones is second, and third is Dominic French. Approaching 25 to go, out in the lead is James McDonald of Kilkenny and doesn't seem troubled at this stage. Maybe by lane one, Dominic French of Sligo. He's doing his best to hang on as James McDonald, but French is coming back with every stride on the outside in lane one. Is French done it? Yes, he has! 224.37. McDonald in second, 225.32. And third, Elias Sones with Bracari in seventh, in uh, fourth place. What a great win for Dominic French out of lane one. Kept marking Luke Woolley all the way and got the win. James Woolley finished seventh and Luke eighth. So heat five, Killian Murphy of Silly Swills, the fastest going into this to 25.17 alongside Killian O'Loughlin Brophy of Cool Mine, who's registered the same time. So away we go, it's Michael McCann of Arts in lane zero, Marcus O'Rahalig of Erlingus in one, Matt O'Sullivan of Trojan in two, Ewan McLeod of ESB in three, Killian Murphy of Swilly in four, Killian O'Loughlin Brophy of Coolmine in five, Rory Boyd of Kingdom in six, Kieran Watterson of Bluefin in seven, Fionn Byrne of the NAC in eight, and Rory Davis of Swim Belfast in nine. And there are a lot more scattered in this early on. It's Ewan McLeod going very well for the ESB in three. In six, it's Rory Boyd. In eight, it's Fionn Byrne. Right now, four and five, Murphy and O'Loughlin Brophy are nowhere. It's Ewan McLeod who leads, 30.77. Fionn Byrne of the NAC in second place, 31.59. And in third place, Rory Davis of uh, a very good position in third place out of lane nine. From Swim Belfast was Rory Davis. Approaching halfway. And in lane three, it's Ewan McLeod of ESB. 252.52 is Swim going into this. Looks like he's going to hold the lead. If he doesn't, Burn actually in lane eight. 
almost grabbed it off him, but leads by 0.8, does Ewan McLeod. 106.22, Fionn Byrne in second, 107.11. Third place to Rory Boyd, going well of Kingdom. But they are spread out quite a bit now. Our leaders in lane three, Ewan McLeod with 75 to go, and in lane eight, what a display by Fionn Byrne from the NAC. A time of 2.26.08 going into this. Will he improve on that today? He's got a good chance of doing that. This is tremendously done. Ewan McLeod in lane three, Fionn Byrne in eight. Byrne might get the touch first, he has done. 143.34, and he leads Ewan McLeod by 0.8 of a second. It's a Lachlan Brophy in third, Boyd four, Watson five. Well, it is a tremendous advantage, you have to say, for Fionn Byrne. And it's not over yet. Making great headway, 15 to go. He leads by a good chunk. It's not going to be the day of Ewan McLeod. It's not going to be the morning for Ewan McLeod anyway, because this is Fionn Byrne to win. 219.57, half a second clear over Ewan McLeod of the ESP. And third, a Lachlan Brophy of Kilmine. Fourth, Rory Boyd of Kingdom. Well, he only became prominent in the final 100 metres, maybe even 75 metres, and Fionn Byrne of the NAC scores a really great win. So heat six, Rio Shea of ESP, the fastest going into this 221.29. Next up, Robert Mullen of Temple Logue, 221.87. Just having a quick reset, it's uh, Leo Liu of Limerick. He's on the uh, near side, has a green cap on. In the black shorts alongside him, Alexander New in a banger. And then with the uh, green cap, Jack McGann of Trojan. So we're underway in heat six of the nine. Leo Leo of Limerick is in lane zero. Alexander Newman a banger in one. Jack McGenna Trojan in two. Daniel Mulholland of Lisbon City in three. Ray O'Shea of uh, the ESB in four. Robert Mullen of Temple Logan five. Ben Merrigan of Dolphin in six. Ricardo Antonell of Italy in seven. Cormac Farron of Rangers is in. Uh, Cormac Farron of Bangor is in eight. And Aidan Mallet of Lisbon City is in lane nine. So as we approach the 50 meter mark, the lead being held by Jack McGann of Trojans. Did really well there, Ray O'Shea progressing for ESB. Might have uh, clicked that at the same time, I thought as well. And going really well in lane two is Jack McGann of Trojan. Good advantage of uh, half a length right now over Ray O'Shea of the ESB. And he's moved well up. Jack McGann ready to turn at halfway and stops the clock at 106.06. Leads by exactly three quarters of a second over Ray O'Shea of the ESB. Third is Mulholland of Lisbon and fourth is Antonell of Italy. Fifth is Ben Merrigan of Dolphin. Just the tiniest of margins really out of lane two for Jack McGann of Trojan. Not too troubled at the moment. Lead of about a full length over the man in lane four, Ray O'Shea, who's seen his fastest coming into this heat from the ESB. It is heat six of nine. There's three more to go after this. Does he still hold the lead, McGann? 142-24. He does. Second is Ray O'Shea. Third is Mulholland of Lisbon. And fourth is Antonell of Italy. So the final 50 to go. It's been a great performance so far from Jack McGann, the 17-year-old from Trojan Swimming Club. The rest are beginning to come back at him. But it certainly doesn't look as if McGann is going to shirk it now. 
Jack McGann is coming through to get the victory for Trojan and he does so in 218.42. Second is Robert Mullen, third is Mulholland and fourth is Ray O'Shea. By that, a very effective win. So Heat 7 is on the way. Bright and Burn of Bangor is the fastest going into this. 208.26. John Short of Bluefin next up. 209.89. Heat 7 it is. Jericho Balgus of Larn in zero, Artem Chobot of Titans in one, Emmett Cousins and Euros in two, Cormac Donnell of Glen Alban in three, Brian Byrne of Bangor in four, John Short of Bluefin in five, Cormac McMenamin of Erlingus in six, Kynan Talek Bottas of Brompton in seven, Dara Horgan of Limerick in eight, and Alexander McClear of Galway is in lane nine. 20826 is Brian Byrne's fastest time. Next up, John Short of Bluefin, 209.89. It's a good lead by John Short heading towards the wall. He turns in 29.10, leads by 1.2 over Bryden Byrne of Bangor in second spot. Third on 30.70 is Cole McDonald, and fourth on 31.52 from Euros is Emmett Cousins. So approaching 75 metres of the 200, and it's been a really well executed plan to date for John Short of uh, Bluefin Swimming Club 209.89 is best coming into this but he's looking very good here John Short turns first and leads 1 minute 0.68 he leads by 2 minutes from Bryden Byrne of Bangor and in 3rd place a further 2 seconds back Cormac Donlan just trying to claw himself back into the competition the man from Glen Albert 75 minutes to go the lead is still intact for John Short Nobody's really had a chance to attack him probably yet. Brian Byrne is trying to reel him in a little bit, catch him up into level terms and then try and dominate whatever uh, arrangement that there will be. But it's John Short, 133.43, leads by 2.7 seconds over Brian Byrne of Bangor, 136.07. It's Donlan in third, 140.12. And in fourth is Eric Cousins of New Ross, 140. 0.46 it's a really tremendous advantage all the way through 15 to go and there is no stopping John Short right now of Bluefin he is going to get a very very good victory hits the wall 205.40 he'll win by about four seconds maybe five it was seven Bryden Byrne second 212.57 Cole McDonald third 214 0.09. I didn't think that time was right and it's not 2.10.93 ratified for Bangor now so it was a five and a half second margin for Short and his colleague is a Short from Bluefin. So heat eight out of nine in the men's 200 backstroke. And it's Brandon Biss of Swim Belfast who's fastest going in this, 208.08. Adam Barnes of Ards in second, 209.25. Just Ronan Fahey of Trojan in lane zero, Philip Duda of Longford in lane one, Daniel Edgar of Lisbon City in two, Maxim Dovbush of the Czech Republic in three, Brandon Biss of Swim Ireland in four, Adam Barnes of Ards in five, Daniel Kennedy of Ards in six, Rahim Tolba of Hamilton Aquatics Dubai in seven, David Pove Pomarnik in lane eight, and Michael Kyo of Terra Nure. He is in nine. So going really well at the moment in lane three is Dovbush of the Czech Republic. 
and he does indeed lead 29.19 after the first 50 meters in second place is Barnes of Ards and in third is Brandon Biss of Sunday's well so it's quite tight between them all at the moment coming through in three is Dobbush of the Czech Republic Biss in second spot he's moved up ahead of Adam Barnes but Barnes still sticking to him and his Ards teammate Daniel Kennedy is one place behind in fourth spot this is halfway that Dobbush is coming to for the Czech Republic and he'll lead just by a tight margin really by 0.15 of a second, Dobbush 102.55, Biss in second 102.70 and Barnes in third place 104.30 with Kennedy in fourth place. So maintaining a spot with 75 to go, this is a very, very uh, good advantage that Dobbush has had but what a great comeback by Biss to go out in front and Barnes has moved up and Dobbush has began to burn up a little bit. It's Brandon Biss of uh, Sunday's well he's doing brilliantly 50 to go here's the final turn 135.09 and Biss's lead is now 3.6 over Maxim Dovbush of the Czech Republic who led for so long it's Daniel Kennedy of Ards in third spot and Philip Duda of Longford in fourth Daniel Edgar of Lisbon in fifth but well out in his own now he's paced this so well and his lead in the final length of the pool is massive he needs by, I would say, four body lengths at the very least. Brandon Biss, a best of 2.08 going into this, is going to hit maybe 2.08 again. 2.07.80 is the winning time for Brandon Biss. It's looking like Daniel Kennedy of Ards in second spot, and it is 2.14.12. And Don Bush, the long-time leader of the Czech Republic, finishes in third, Edgar in fourth. But a win for Brandon Biss, 2.07.80. Heat 9, Nathan Whiffen of Larn and Ireland. The fastest going into this, 203.76. Neddy Irwin of Dolphin next up, 208.66. Just held for a moment. Here they go. Now McGurn of Bambridge in lane zero, Michele Zucchini of Italy in one, Charlie Cassidy of Dolphin in two, Rory Lee of Sunday's Well in three, Nathan Whiffen of Lyon in four, Nettie Irwin of Dolphin in five, it's Mehmet Zarin of Brompton in six, Senen Noonan going well for Erlingus in seven, Jonathan Heslop of Tux in eight, and Liam Og Mathers of Banbridge in lane nine. So that's all that's in it. Nathan Whiffen is the fastest seed all told going into this and he turns in first place after 50. The Lion Man 29.16. Nettie Irwin in second for Dolphin. He's half a second behind. 29.65. And Mehmet Seren at 29.85. Next up for Brompton. That's the 1-2-3 and a clear 1-2-3 at the moment as they're heading towards halfway. It's a really good advantage being led here by Nathan Whiffen, the World Championship finalist. And coming into the final five, before halfway, it's Whiffen who's well in control. There may be a change in second place, though. Zeran might just get there ahead of Irwin. It's Whiffen who leads, one minute point three seven. Indeed, Zeran is now in second place. Irwin in third, drops down. Fourth is Senna Noonan of Erlingus. And in fifth spot, Rory Lee, 104.90. But it's a massive lead at the moment now for Nathan Whiffen. And the main race is for second. Mehmet Zeran just edging out Nettie Irwin in that for the moment and in fourth spot over in lane seven it's Senna Noonan of Aer Lingus but this lead for Nathan Whiffen is really really big 50 to go he turns in 132.30 he'll lead by five or six seconds turning next will be Zeran 137.37 Nettie Irwin in third for Dolphin 138.22 and Senna Noonan of Aer Lingus in fourth Rory Lee in fifth but how good Nathan Whiffen has been today for Lyon he's showing his usual 
class and form and he's going to win this by six or seven seconds into the closing 10 meters and there's no real doubt that Nathan Whiffin is going to get the big victory here and by a large margin Whiffin wins it 203.78 and the rest a long way back might just be Irwin edging out Zarin for second place here and it is 213.13 Zarin in third Noonan four and Heslop in fifth place but Nathan Whiffen gets a tremendous victory in that four line the Ireland International the major championship finalist and that was very very good indeed Nathan Whiffen who's uh, studying at Loughborough University well that's why he's one of the favorites in this 200 backstroke so we've got two more races to go it's the women's 1500 meters freestyle Nathan Whiffen has done his job and comparatively quickly so the women's 1500 meters freestyle and these are the five in the first heat fastest Brianna Chamberlain of Cookstown So in lane two, it's Aoife Fierik of Limerick, the 15-year-old. In lane three, Laura Fahey of Glenalbin, 19.10, her best. In lane four, Brianna Chamberlain of Cookstown, uh, 18.40 is her time, her best time going into this. Jessica Robson of Lisbon City, she's in lane five. And Laura Saradai New Ross, she is in lane six. 19.12 is her best, so we've got 50-metre mark coming here. And it's uh, Jessica Robson who's taking a good advantage of this. 31.63, only five hundredths of a second clear of Laura Fahey. 31.68, third spot for Neuros. Serrado Inaji, fourth is Aoife Fierik. And in fifth, quite unusually actually, yeah, it was Chamberlain in lane four, but she'll pick up a bit after this, I've no doubt. So coming up to the 100 meter mark, it's Jessica Robson who's in the lead and a little bit of a fight back coming alongside her from Laura Fahey that is in lane three a hundred meters gone and it's Robson who comes there 106.40 Laura Fahey second 107.94 third is Saradai Naji of New Ross and let's go down for the next few circuits to join Andrew Bree Right, Lisburn swimmer Robson still way out in front there. Here we go, turning now on a 200 meter mark at two minutes 19.83. Nothing between second, third, fourth though. Look at that, 223s across, 223 up to 224 for Chamberlain.
Okay, 300 meters in now. There's about a four second gap. Race leader Robson still, 333.9. New Rawson coming in second, 337s. And then nothing between Fahey and Chamberlain. 38s, 39 area. With Fiedrich coming through on a 345. All right, well, here's 400 meters coming up now. First 400 meters in the bag, turning just under 450. 448.4 for Jessica Robson. Still around a three, four second gap. If lanes three and four can hold on tight together, that'll be a nice wee race. We have the new Ross swimmer, Kasadradai Naji. I think I'm getting the Naji bit right. I don't know about the first bit. She's in lane six, and she's in second place, maintaining that, maintaining that gap between race leader and then third and fourth. Roughly around the same distance in between both. Okay, through the 600, now Robson's still way out in front there. Gaps closed a little bit between Chamberlain Fahey, chasing lane number six, the new Ross swimmer. But way out in front now, 17 lengths to go, 17 laps of the big pool here at the NAC. 17 to go now after this wall.
So the two-thirds point has arrived, and it's Jessica Robson of Lisbon who leads 12-18.92 uh, at the 1,000 metre mark. And Saradoy Nagdi in second spot, 12.28.41, four seconds ahead of Laura Fahi in uh, third spot, three ahead of Chamberlain. Aoife Fierit down in fifth spot for the moment. This will be 1,050. Nine seconds to go. Robson still leading. That was 12.57.25 for the Lisburnite. Sarodai Naji of uh, New Ross, 13.06. Four seconds ahead of Fahi and seven ahead of Chamberlain. Brianna Chamberlain of Cookstown who finds herself in fourth spot. And going out of lane four, obviously that's where the fastest seed always is. But it's uh, not turning out to have followed through this time around. Robson is putting in a really belting performance and aiming for her place in the final. Robson at 1100. Eight full lengths to go. 13.35.26 for her. That's a 10 second lead over Sarada Najiv Niros. 13.45.46. Chamberlain in fourth, Fahi in third. And the woman in lane five with the red cap, Jessica Robson, looking. Well, well clear. Still a 10 second lead, but the new Ross based Sarodai Naji is trying to reel her in. That gap now is what? Well, it's 11 seconds, so it's going in reverse. The lead is increasing for Robson all the time. At 11.50 that was. And she's got a lead of just about 15 meters or thereabouts. 10 metres to go when Sarodai Naji hits the halfway point. So this will be 1,200, 300 to go, six full lengths to go. Robson reaching it, 14.51.46. Sarodai Naji coming up next in second spot. And it's not much between second, third and fourth, to be honest with you. Now that's 11 seconds, Sarodai Naji, 1502.75. Laura Fahi 15.05 dead and Chamberlain of Cookstown 15.10.27. 12.50 up next. Certainly, visibly, it doesn't look as if there's been any change in the gap between the two at all. So 12.50, uh, 2.50 to go. A full sixth remaining. Robson 15.29.78. This will be very indicative of whether the gap has come down at all. Still about the same. 15.40.41 for Saladin Naji in second. Fahia for the three seconds back in third. And five and a half seconds behind her is Chamberlain in fourth spot. 1300 up next for Robson. Interesting little speed checks all the time, keeping her momentum up, keeping her concentration up and very much a time trial for her as it tends to be for so many in the 1500 freestyle. Robson, 1607.61, Sarodai Naji, 1618.60, so it's staying at about 11 seconds there, both pretty much maintaining the same tempo, the same rate and very much equal with each other. Third is Fahi, six seconds clear of Chamberlain in fourth so next up 1350 and there's only three full lengths to go after this Robson's time at the turn 1645.98 now if uh, Saradai can get this to around 1655 she might have a chance of uh, well it's not happening uh, it's not actually registered this time around. Didn't hit the wall properly. But she obviously did hit the wall. Don't worry about that. So it'll be the next one. One 
hundred meters to go and there's the bell for Jessica Robson and she turns in 1722.57 reminder she comes into this 1840 uh, 1853 actually is Robson's time 1840 was Chamberlain's so that I turning here in 1735.50 Fahey three seconds behind her for Glenalbin and to Chamberlain in fourth a further five and three quarters the final turn and it's Jessica Robson who is well on her way to winning and I think that gap is getting a lot bigger it looks to be around 20 meters now she turns 1758.48 and Sarodai Nalci will turn in 18 13 it's a 15 second lead now so this is the victory for Jessica Robson it's gonna be a lifetime best I think by a long way by around 20 seconds or so 1853 she's come in previously this to win in 1833.86 And there's going to be a comparatively a sprint for second, third, and fourth. Sorello Naji will come home in second place for New Ross, 1849.88. Fahi in third, 1853.36. In fourth place, Chamberlain, 1858.62. And that leaves one more to come. And that will be Aoife Fierik, who's coming along in lane two. Still has around 25 meters to go. and Fierik going well well her best going to this 1925 not sure if she's going to break that but Fierik comes through in fifth place and wraps up this contest 2 coming up next Christian Mundell of Tux the fastest going into this 16.55 Jenny Kurtzer of Tux second fastest 17.38 we'll have a bit of time to introduce them all to you So Ruth Kelly of New Ross, she's in lane zero. Her best is 18.30. Rebecca Freel of Trojan in lane one, 18.26. Grace Cochran in two of Lurg in 18.08. Ella Carroll of Limerick, 17.44. Then in lane four, Kristen Mundell of Tux, 16.55. Jenny Kurtzer of Tux in five, 17.38. Hazel Bentley of Asgard in six, 18.07. Jessica Gannon of Limerick in seven, 18.26. Emmy Dawson in eight, Hanno O'Connor in nine, introduce them properly in a moment. It's Rebecca Friel then of Trojan who leads in lane one after 50, 30.76, ahead of Christian Mundell in second, 31.33. She's not going to go anywhere fast. Jenny Kurtzer was just behind her in third place. And the full introduction of uh, lanes eight to nine, Emmy Dawson is in eight of Lisbon City. 18.28.75 is her best time going into this. And Hannah O'Connor in nine of Limerick, 18.39. Well, they're approaching the 100 meter mark, and it's Rebecca Friel of Trojan who will hit the wall first. 104.65. Second spot for Christian Mundell of Tux, 105.72. Third is Jenny Kurtzer of Tux, 105.86. Fourth, Ellie Carroll of Limerick, 106.49. Fifth was Hazel Bentley of Asgard. Still a good advantage there, Rebecca Friel of Trojan. Approaching 150. Good advantage over the rest of around three, four meters. She'll get the turn first. Freel in front, 139.59. She leads by a second and a half over Christian Mandela of Tux, who will be up there all the way through. And to take you through the next few lengths, here's Andrew Bree.
All right, coming into the 300 meter mark. Still way out in front there. Trojan swimmer Rebecca Freel in lane number one. Two tuck swimmers, Mondale Cotez close. Carl still up in the mix. Nothing between. Fifth position here. Who's that closest to me? Hazel Bentley from Asgard in the blue cap. She's in six. But it's a 325 to the 300. But a second. Yeah, about three-second total gap in between everyone kind of there on the first four. So we'll see if that wave continues through this 1500 to round off day two's session, early session. We've got a middle session coming up. 23 lengths now to go for these freestyle distance swimmers. So this is the 450 mark which is being reached and Mundell and Freel are still maintaining the advantage but Freel still holding off. Mundell and Kurtzer, the two from Tux, 512.34 for Freel in lane one leading by 0.3 ahead of Kurtzer in second and a Tux teammate Mundell in third. Not that it really matters very much what order they're in, they're very close towards each other at the moment. Cochrane in fifth, Gannon in sixth, Bentley seventh, Dawson eighth. Ruth Kelly in ninth and Hannah O'Connor in tenth and this is the third of the way mark that's coming up this will be interesting and there's four well clear ahead of the rest of the moment in lanes one three four and five and Kurtzer leads at the 500 meter mark 548.26 half a second clear of Mundell in second Frill in third spot just slightly behind then Ella Carroll in fourth for Limerick a gap down of 10 seconds to Jessica Gannon of Limerick in Fifth spot, Grace Cochran in sixth, Hazel Bentley seventh, Ruth Kelly in eighth for New Ross. And as they head back up towards 550. Tooks one and two. And Freel beginning to fall back, and that's significant. Janine Kurtz a lead, 623.68. Mundell second, 623.92. And now it's a lead of one and a half seconds over Freel in third. It's Ella Carroll in fourth place, a few further seconds down. Bit of significance here, it's Tux one and two, and it may well be this way for the remainder of the race. They're about to hit 600 meters. And it's Kurtzer who leads Mundell by 0.13. Carroll still holding up at around two and a half seconds behind those two, maybe two and three quarter seconds. And Freel, well now, falling back into fourth place. So, Kurtz and Mundell, the one and two. Carroll, Freel, three and four. Hardly anything between them. Hardly anything between one and two, hardly anything between three and four, but between those two duos, it's a gap of around three seconds. Let's see what we reach here as we hit the 650 meter mark. <laughs> One hundredth of a second between them. <laughs> Kurtzer leading Mundell and then Carroll in third, Freeland fourth. 650 done. That's 850 to go. And we'll hand you back to the next few lengths. Andrew Bree will hopefully talk you through that.
All right, knack and knack lands four and five. Nothing between them. It oh eight. 95 to 8, 09, 06. Carl through now, 8, 13. Freel drop back three seconds to 8, 16. All right, approaching 800 meters now. We've got the two tuck swimmers are going to be coming in just under 920. It's like, this is, you couldn't get any closer, folks. 919.46 to 919.49. Just very symmetrical here, stroke for stroke. Carol coming through, looking nice in lane number three. She's a 925, Freel on a 931, six seconds back. With Jessica Gannon and Co Grace Cochran, nothing between the Lurgan swimmer and the Limerick uh, swimmer, 940 to 941. We have Ruth Kelly coming through on a 947, Bentley on a 948, O'Connor on a 952, and a nice race between, between O'Connor and Dawson there in lane eight and nine, closest to me here on this side of the pool deck. But 900 meters now coming up for these two. The two red caps at Tux, they're taking, taking this nicely out front, pushing each other, breathing to both sides. 900 meters now, just under 10 minutes and 30 seconds into this race. So approaching the 1,000 metre mark, the two-thirds point, and this is stride for stride now, a real time trial, a dual time trial between Kristen Mundell in four on the near side, Jamie Kurtzer on the far side, both of Tux, and they're divided by 0.16 of a second, which is possibly the biggest margin we've had between these two for a long time. Kurtzer leads, Mundell in second place, and now the rest are coming through in dribs and drabs. Third is Ella Carroll, 11.51 in third spot. And in fourth will be Rebecca Frill of Trojans, 12.01.22. They really are well scattered all over the place now. It'll be Grace Cochran of Lurgan coming through in fifth, 12.08.61. And in sixth spot, it's Jessica Gannon of Limerick. Out of lane uh, seven, 12.10.54. They've turned at 10.50. Kurtzer and Mundell, the 1-2. And Kurtzer actually now leading by a margin of 0.7 of a second. That's interesting to see. Ella Carroll turning in third spot, 12.27. And she'll be followed at 10.50 by Rebecca Friel, 12.38.70. But the others are now about 35 metres away at the very least. And there's a noticeable advantage at 1100 that Kurtzer does have over Mundell leading by 1.2 seconds well they've decided to race now and it took them basically until the 500 meter mark to decide to both head away together and at the thousand meter mark they both decided right race on 
El uh, Carroll of Limerick in third, 1304.37. Rebecca Freel of Trojans is going to come up now at the other end at 1113.16.34. Meanwhile, at uh, 11.50, Kurtzer leads Mundell by 2.7 seconds, 1234.37 compared to 12, uh, 13. 27.08, 350 to go. That's a really noticeable margin now. Ella Carroll turning for Limerick in third spot at 11.50, 13.40.88. Next it'll be Friel's turn. And she hits 11.50 when the other's about to hit 1,200. 13.54, 3.2 for her now. So this is 1,200, a 13.58.87. That's a lead of three and a half seconds for Jenny Kurtzer over her Tux teammate Christian Mundell. 1402.38 for her. So what's the gap between those two and uh, Ella Carroll? Well, it's about 20 seconds. Ella Carroll, 1417.69 in third spot. Approaching 1250. And the turn will be made by Kurtzer first. So 250 to go, five lengths to go. 1433.48 for Kurtzer. And in second, Mundell is four and a half seconds down. 1437.73. There is still a chance maybe that Emma Carroll can catch the woman in lane four. Christian Mundell of Tux as Carroll turns now at 12.50 and 14.54.62. Freel about to hit 12.50 herself, but at 1,300. So she's only back up at this end twice more. The bell for Kurtzer next time around. She leads 1507.95. She's five and a half seconds clear of Kristen Mundell in second place, 1513.41. Carroll trying to edge a little bit closer out of lane three for Limerick. Hits 1,300 now. Carroll in 15.30. 0.93 and she'll see Freel greeting her but Kurtzer just about to turn now hit the back wall does so 1542.47 so she has got 150 to go she's going to get the bell next she leads by seven seconds Christian Mundell 1549.11 Carol will be next up But the bell is on the way for the Tux 1 and 2. There will be a bit of lapping going on. Carol hit 13.50 and 16.07. Here's the bell. First for Jenny Kurtzer of Tux. Turns in 16.16.81. And Bundell hits the bell now. Eight seconds behind. 16.24.74. Carol is still a further 10 or so seconds behind. More, 15, 16. Carol will hit in third spot now. Gets the bell for Limerick and turns in 16.43.46. Meanwhile, at the other end, a full length of the pool, it's Kurtzer who turns with 50 to go. 16.50.99. Mundell about to follow, about eight seconds back. Kurtzer will win and it's a 10 second gap, 17 minutes, 0.12. And the rest are well behind. Janie Kurtzer to win, Christian Mundell in second place. And Kurtzer comes through to get the victory. Kurtzer wins it, 17-24. 16 that takes 14 seconds off her best time. Mundell won't be doing that though. Mundell to come home in second place and she has done so. 17.35.43. Ella Carroll to come in next and on the way now the Limerick woman. 17.44 is her best time. That's not going to happen. But she does come through in 17.53.29. Rebecca Friel will be next up. An 18.26 swimmer. Now let's see, she might have a chance of breaking that. 
and she's hauling Grace Cochran of Lurgan in with it. So they'll be fourth and fifth together. Rebecca Frail comes in to finish. Frail gets the touch. 18.15.76. Improves her best time by 11 seconds. And Grace Cochran of Lurgan coming through in fifth spot. Jessica Gannon has finished as well. I think Gannon, quite cruelly, might have... Uh, no, Gannon just finished behind Cochran. So Cochran fifth, Gannon in sixth. Doesn't match what's on your picture, but that's what we have in the system. So Jenny Kurtzer wins for Took, 17.24.16. Chris Mundell in second for Took, 17.35.43. Ella Carroll in third for Limerick. Rebecca Friel, four Trojans. Uh, Jessica Robson, I should tell you, 1833.8 is the ninth fastest time. We'll see her in the final. But Kurtzer, Mundell, Carol Friel, and Cochran, the top five times in these heats of the women's 1500 meters freestyle. We'll be back in two hours with the second session. Lots of underage action there.